Hey friends, <laughs> welcome back to Ball Homestead. My name is Beverly and I'm so glad you're here. I was gonna show you guys the difference in elderberries and other random berries. There's definitely a difference. So let's take a look. These bushes here are poke salad, is what we call it in Arkansas. And they have beautiful purple berries on them, but these are not elderberries. I have heard, as long as you don't chew the seeds and stuff, that they're good for arthritis. Like I said, I'm not giving medical advice here, but the seeds are what contains the poison in these berries, but these are poke salad berries. These are not elderberries. We have a bunch of those here, and uh, we don't have elderberries on our property that we know of, but I have a friend that lets me come pick at her house and I did that today. So I'm gonna show you what an elderberry looks like. Elderberries are teeny tiny little berries and they're on a kind of like a canopy. These have a lot of green ones on them. Let me find another one. I got quite a few here. Okay, like this one is solid purple and it's like a canopy and they're teeny tiny little berries. What I do when I get my elderberries home is I just toss the whole bag in the freezer and wait for them to freeze good. And then I take them out and take them off. They're much easier that way. While I was out here, I thought I'd give you a little update. Some of the garlic is coming up here. The only ones that isn't coming up is the elephant garlic. And I've only other, ever planted that one other time, so I'm not really sure. Maybe it has to have cold stratification, but every one of our others are coming up. So that's a plus over here. They're really coming up. See, this is just a little corner edge beds that we put around the fence. We usually grow like winter squash and stuff on them, but we try to rotate crops. And look, I'm so excited. My carrots are back up. We figured out what got them the first time. We have uh, some little neighborhood turkeys. They're, they're tame turkeys. And we, we were pretty sure that they got our carrots the first time. We've been kind of watching when they're here and not, you know, making them get off the fence when they are up here. So now I'm gonna pick up some mulberry, or mulberries, uh, muscadines. We are thick and heavy in the muscadines. And what we do every day, you can see them all over. I come pick all these up and I even walk through the woods and pick up and pick the ones I can reach because they're really high in the trees. So let me do that real quick. All right, guys, in a matter of a few minutes, we got about a half of a gallon of fresh, yummy muscadines. I'll probably go ahead and wash these because we had a little bit of rain today. So they're a little dirtier than normal and put them in the freezer. And we'll have muscadines for juice, jams, just whatever. We like to try to get as much items off of the land as we can. And that's just another way that we try to stay sustainable. Oh, friends, a quick update on our juice. It is turning some more than others, but I'm kind of coming through every day and giving it a little shake. It didn't say to do that. I'm just kind of doing it and it is turning. So hopefully in a month we'll have some yummy muscadine grape juice. Anyways, thank you for stopping back by our homestead. Please like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, friends. Goodbye.